Hey everybody, good day. This is Fred with One or CCTV of New England, and we are coming to you today with a quick video on how to set up your HikVision NVR, DVR, or security camera to notify you via email when there is motion, when there is an event on your property. Um, this is a virtual alarm system. It's completely free to set up with your HikVision system, and we're going to cover it now. All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we start, there's a red subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Uh, if you've been watching these videos, please click that so you get our content. Also, like the video um, and give us some comments. Give us feedback and suggestions for future videos. So, um, the first thing we're going to do is we have to locate our recorder on our network. So, at this point, the recorder is in place on your property. You have it plugged in to either your modem or your router, your firewall. Uh, your Ethernet switch, the recorder has live internet. Um, so we'll use our SADP tool to locate the recorder's IP address on our network. If you do not know about SADB or how to install that tool, there is a link above right now that will walk you through how to do that. Okay, so we've opened SADP and we see the recorder's IP address is 192.168.0.13. So all we're going to do is we're going to open a browser. Um, I always use old school Expo Internet Explorer works best um, with these security cameras. Um, I know a lot of people have Edge, they have Firefox, they have Chrome. Um, use Explorer for this purpose. It works better with the plugins. Uh, so I'll type 192.168.0.13. That should get us to our recorder login. We'll log into the recorder. Uh, the first thing we have to do is make sure the camera um, is set up to detect motion. Um, I have one haphazardly set up in the living room for this purpose. Uh, there's my dog chilling on the couch and my wife working in the kitchen. We're going to go to the configuration tab up on the top. And we are going to go to the event tab right here. Okay. And you will see enable motion detection. Okay, we want that checked off. Okay, we want to enable motion detection. And we want this grid covering um, the sectors that can cause motion. We can clear this, um, and once it's cleared, no motion is going to be triggered. If I just wanted motion to be triggered in the couch area, you see I can square in that area, um, and that is what will alert the motion. So if there's moving up here, moving in the kitchen, it wouldn't set the alarm on. All right. And of course, this is sensitivity. It will go from zero to 100. Uh, 80 is usually pretty good for that. You don't want shadows and small bugs setting off the motion alerts. Right. Um, so we're going to save that. And we'll get a little prompt that said save succeeded. Um, and now the only other thing that we need to do um, is click linkage method. And we want it to send email notifications. OK. Um, on channel one. Now that that's set up, we will have to set up our email information in the recorder. So we're going to go to the network tab, um, and you will see an advanced settings tab. The very first subfolder that comes up here um, is actually email. And this is where we set up our email account. The sender can be named anything you want. Um, it could be your name, it could be your work's name, it could be whatever you want it to be. The sender's address needs to be the email address that the recorder is going to use to send the motion alerts. I always tell people to set up a new Gmail account, a new Yahoo account, a new Office 360 account just for this purpose, just for the recorder. If you have a work email and you're getting sensitive information in that work email, you certainly don't want to put that address and its password um, on the HikVision cloud. We all know this equipment is manufactured in China. Almost all of the surveillance equipment available today is, um, and it's questionable. Um, who sees this stuff? We'd like to think it's secure, um, but you need to set up an email specifically for this, um, for that purpose. The other reason is you're going to get alerts, right, when there's motion, basically alarm. It's your alarm company notifying you, um, and you want the tone for that alarm to be different than your everyday emails. In other words, if you're getting spam all day and junk mail, you get used to, you tone out those beeps from your 
phone that are alerting you of your regular email. You can make this uh, email like a train or a horn uh, a distinctive sound so you know it's your alarm system and, and you give it um, the attention required. Um, so go ahead and put in whatever that you want to use for your email. Um, I'm going to use Fred Wentworth at NewEnglandCCP.com. That is my work email, by the way, if you ever need to reach me. Um, your server is going to be the outgoing SMTP server um, for your email service. Okay. I know mine is SMTPOffice365.com uh, because I have Office 365. How did I find that? Very easily. I just Googled. Office 365 outgoing SMTP server settings. And you could do the same thing uh, with Google, with Yahoo, with, with any of these exchange servers, and it will give you the information you need. Right? Um, all right. So, and there we see SMTP Office 365.com um, port 465 or 487 or uh, 587. Okay, so we are going to use port 587. We want to make sure SSL is enabled. Um, we want authentication, um, which is your email, and you're going to have to enter the password and confirm the password of your email account. So again, mine's Fred Wentworth at New England CCTV.com. I'll enter my password, which I will not give you clowns. That would be bad. Okay, so now we've got that set up. What I need to do now is put the receiver's information. We can have three contacts. Um, actually, I think you could go four now too. Um, that are notified in the event of motion in the business. Okay, um, usually in a business, this is the general manager, the business owner, maybe the security manager. Um, so this is just their name. You can do their name. Um, the receiver's email obviously needs to be correct. That's their email address. Now, when you enter your receivers, um, you can go ahead and hit save here, and that's going to save your settings. As you can see, all the blocks are filled in. Um, you want to have attached image checked off. The reason you want attached image checked off, when these send you alerts, um, not only is it going to send you an alert to your email, it's going to send you a real-time picture of what caused the alert. Way better than alarm system, and this is free. It's embedded in the recorder, free service. No charges, no nothing for this. You just need a recorder and an email address. So what we're going to do now is test the email. Um, if you entered all of this information correctly um, and you hit test, a prompt is going to come up that says it was set up successfully and that a test email was sent through these settings to the email specified. Um, hopefully, I'm good at this, and it will tell us that. Yes. It succeeded. I just heard the uh, test email go to my email. We will double check. We'll just click here. And we see, don't you clowns be looking at my email there. But it says this email is used to test whether your SMTP uh, settings work. And they do. Um, so that's beautiful. All right. Now that we have that worked out, uh, I think what I'll do is go out there real time, activate the alarm, and you folks can see on the screen here real time um, how this works and how you'll be notified when there's motion. All right. It looks like we have some alerts there. And look at that. There I am waving to you folks. Um, that is how motion works. Um, of course, you have a time date stamp on this. Um, and you can go back and do playback. Um, so we've got 525.21 at 4.22. Um, you could go back and do playback and see what caused that incident. Um, setting a recorder up like this, uh, it's a virtual alarm system. Once you have it fine-tuned and the sensitivity was set up and the block set up where you want it to detect motion, um, you'll get email um, when there's movement. 
Um, that concludes the video. Thanks for watching. Again, please subscribe to our channel. There's a red subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. We will see you in the field.